it's been rough. We've had some success, but we haven't got skunked, but I don't know. We, we're in a different state, new location, no experience, but that's the joys of when you get success and you're just pumped out of your mind. So anyways, we've got birds. We just had to move around. We had super highs and super lows. We saw tons of birds, thousands, probably the most I've ever seen. And then we hunt the next morning and they're gone, like ghost town. Weird. So they either migrated or pushed down up river. I don't know. But this morning we have a spot from a couple of days ago that we haven't hunted yet that we think they'll be purging. So we're gonna head out there and see what we can do. So bottom line is we're we're late now, and the reasoning is is this we had a game plan one, but we have four guys in the boat. It's not like it's going that fast because of all the weight and the gear and all that stuff. So we changed plans, come to a different location that's only 15 minutes away. We got here, we were getting set up. Semi, I was taking a look around, and there was a guy in the bank. So that was not in the plans, and I've never seen nobody hunt there. So then we moved down and every spot that we were looking at guys were in. So we came to this spot and here we are. So shoot time. it's shoot time now, let's get it on. To uh, don't know where this puppy is, where it goes. Oh. I don't feel as cold today either. Mm -mm. It's just that boat ride. Mm. Oh, you son of a Sit, Rocky. 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 Oh, there's a wood duck, huh? Leave. Oh, wood duck. I shot that one up before. Day five, back at it again, and we are clearing a little path back here. We're gonna hunt this spot that we seen a couple days ago, and man, I, you know we jumped probably 80, 100 birds out of here, but now our expectations of when we see birds and actually get to hunt them is totally different because uh, we seen multiple thousands the other day when we were scouting, and we show up. And it's like there was never a duck in the place. I thought I just heard a gadwall. And so now it's like, we don't know what to think. <laughs> we're not like, we weren't, we weren't saying, oh, we're going to crush them. But we're like, if they come back, we're going to do really good. Obviously. But they never came back. And I'm not talking a thousand birds, two thousand. I'm talking 
I've never seen nothing like it in my life, not even in Canada. And for 14 miles of river. So it felt like, we felt like we can go almost anywhere and get birds. And then it was just like, it, they were gone. Like they totally pushed out or pre like, I don't know. Cause we seen them in the evening and we went the next morning, they're gone. So this is a different spot from a couple days ago. It's actually a pretty cool little setting. We're back up in a pocket a little bit and some, kind of some good views, like canyon wall around us. So we'll see what happens. Of about 50 to 60 mallards working us. They were up high going down the middle of the river and they they turned and came in and they were, I don't know, pretty high at first. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Get her! Get her!
So I knew we were going to see that box. Did she lose? We could see feathers all over it. Stick back there. Beautiful greenhead. She's a good sized bird. Didn't make a super clean shot up. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rocky. Yes, bro. <laughs> Shouldn't have left you behind. Yes. Got it. I think I got him on that last Yeah, one. you got him on Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm far out there. I feel like I got him. Yeah, you, you got him on that last so one. The very last shot. For sure. He's probably just trying to help. Man. Maybe you guys shouldn't have gotten him. I don't know. Well, I just got my third bird. Um, he was right here. He was like 20 yards. But they're, they're going along this grass line taking a look at the decoys and then swinging. So I shot him. I should. I can't believe I didn't crush him. He was 20 yards. 20 yards. He wasn't decoying, but he was just 20 yards above me and he coming across the spread. But anyways, um, I, I missed. Well, actually, he was coming right at me and he banked because I stood up and I missed. Then I clipped him. And then on my third shot, I smoked him. They were shooting him at him too, but... Sorry, are you all right? So, three birds down for me. Thomas has got one, so we're at four right now. Ooh. <laughs> he ain't jacking around. <laughs> <laughs> he banked and that's when I went. What happened to you down? Because we're crossing this side, right? Oh, I gotta like be really select. I, oh, you got your 20. Yeah. It's alright. It's fine. I'll just pick it. I'm, I, I'm shooting behind because this 20 gauge is a little bit Man. slower. I, like on top of you when I heard you stand up. Huh? I thought he was like on top of you when I heard you stand No, they were, they were still, he was still probably 10 yards in front of Travis, which it was fine. I just, I just missed. I don't know why in the world I waited. I, could, I don't like shooting when they're coming right at me like that. He turned and that's when I shot. I had to have shot behind him. I got the perfect angle, you better crush one. <laughs> Once Travis gets his, I don't know. Or maybe... <laughs> what was... What was... Why'd that lady yell at her dog the little frou-frou one when she's barking? Remember that? that the little fluff, fluffy-haired one in the house when they're sending the message all across London? Oh yeah, because she's all making a bunch of noise. Yeah. Sassy? Oh yeah. Remember? You know what I'm talking about. Barely, dude. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, your mind doesn't think you need it. We don't have a clue what their pattern is, man. So we have no clue what they're going to do in the morning. They're probably going to stand there all night. Hey, there's a single that just lifted out. Is that a thing? <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. That's how good they are. You think a blue come? You got shot one there. there. No? Man, I could have shot one. I think there was a cut around here. But I could be pulling off. Oh, no, a couple of trousers, but the majority, okay. like a couple tent, pack of tents. There was a time when a big group jumped off there. Yeah. Do you think it's, I don't feel like it was right in the trees, but look at that little cut right there to the left. Yeah. A little, it looks like mud though. Or even this point right here. 
Was haben wir denn das? Oh, oh. One thing I can think of is they don't, when they hit the water, they're going with the water. You know what I'm saying? Instead of coming against the water. So, this morning, we, was pretty, there was a pack, like three packs of birds, like 50, 60 birds, and they worked us pretty hard. Like we thought they wanted in. We called really hard. Mojo's, Mojo was spinning. I don't know. We tried different things. <clears throat> they ended up bouncing out, and uh, so we decided to leave. So we decided to bounce out at 11:30, go get lunch, and then man, we were just trying to decide what to do. Like go scout again, or just go in the river, find some birds, and set up. And that's we decided to go ahead and just drive about 25 minutes away, hit the river. We started going down the river, and not far, probably like a mile in, uh, we jumped probably I don't know. 60 birds or something like that so we end up just immediately we, we cut down a weight <laughs> we left rocky behind which is not something i normally do but we were going so slow with four guys and all the gear we cut back way back two dozen decoys no dog took some chairs out took some pelicans out and just started making some time down river jump some birds just said hey right here threw our decoys out literally in like two minutes thomas parked the boat and what not even five, ten minutes. We shot. I shot a Drake Miller, like right over the decoys, about this high. So, and then we shot. I shot a, a hen, and Thomas shot a Drake, and then I shot another Drake. So, good for coming out for another two hours. We shot four more birds. So, tomorrow we gotta sit down and decide what we're gonna do about that. So.